Could I ask you just uh, another question? I'm a public health physician, so I ask from a more public health perspective. Um, it, in China, everybody wears masks, but in uh, Europe and in the UK, uh, we are not advising people to wear masks unless they're in contact with patients. Uh, could you just uh, explore that a little bit? And I, I actually want to see your viewpoints about the wearing of masks. Mm -hmm. I think the position that we've been taking is that the, uh, the evidence doesn't show that universal wearing of masks at all points is necessarily a safety procedure, um, doesn't protect people. Um, and it's, uh, there's been, I know there's a cultural difference here. That, mm -hmm. uh, when I was living in Hong Kong, uh, people would wear masks not, not at time of epidemic, but people would wear masks if they had if they had a respiratory tract infection themselves uh, to protect other people. Uh, so, um, and as we would want people with uh, who have uh, COVID nineteen to be at home, um, we would not be necessarily wanting people out wearing masks. I think the thinking is that masks can protect. Um, carers when they're giving care to people who are sick mm -hmm. uh, and people who are at risk of being sick. But in general, um, you touch your mask a lot. You take your mask off when you eat. You uh, breathe into the mask. It gets soggy. You, you know, all of those issues mean that, in fact, they're not necessarily the protection. And we've been focusing much more on hand washing, not touching face and eyes, and cleaning surfaces around us and tissue hygiene. That's been the thrust of the message, uh, the containment message in the UK. Uh, and we don't tend to wear masks and we save them for when people are, um, are actually infected and for protection both of healthcare workers and, uh, and carers. And I have, that, that's, that's, I have a follow That's uh, been the same as what the, the CDC in the US has been saying. And I think much of that also is driven by the acute shortage of masks and other protective yeah, equipment yeah. in the U.S. Yeah. But ever, but however, I think as we're seeing the continued spread and as masks become more available, it might start to make sense in the U.S. and Europe for people to, to start wearing masks, especially as we find more and more information on the number of asymptomatic people. Uh, because if everybody wore a mask, the asymptomatic people would not be spreading uh, the coronavirus as much as they are now. So, so once again, I think that the current recommendations in the U.S. are really mainly due to the uh, the shortage of masks. And also there's a, another theoretical concern that if, if a non-trained person is wearing a mask, they're going to touch their face more often to adjust it and might be at higher risk of infection. However, I think that's mainly theoretical. And, and I do see in the U.S. as masks become more available, people will start buying their own and, and using their own. And you'll see a cultural shift uh, in the U.S. and Europe. Well, another comment on the mask uh, is uh, we believe uh, surgical masks uh, for the people to wear is a, a kind of tool to reduce their anxiety uh, during the aid, uh, during, uh, during this time. They wear a mask, they feel safer. Uh, the, the mental anxiety has been kind of reduced. But uh, N95 I'm, I'm is- I'm really glad you mentioned that because that's been a huge issue in, in US hospitals with administrators actually taking off the masks that health workers have brought in from home and really not understanding that suiting up in your personal protective equipment for a health worker is like a knight putting on his armor and it has a huge psychological component. And, and luckily there are some bright spots in the US that communities are starting to sew masks and other protective equipment for the health workers. So the health workers will now be able to physically put on a sign of the support of the community. And that I think will have a great boost to morale. But mm -hmm. administrators need to understand that, that health workers are under extreme pressure yes. now. Yes. And let yes. someone wear a mask if that's what they want to do. It'll mm -hmm. make a big difference in their mm -hmm. morale. Yeah. Well, by our experience, the transmission capacity of these viruses is very horrible. Uh, you easily get it if you do not, do not wear a mask. Uh, we have a case which has been reported by the television. Uh, one guy went to the market to buy something and another uh, later diagnosed patient passed through. They, they came across like for 10 seconds. Uh, the, the, the second patient only have these 10 seconds of contact and he got the disease. It's worrisome. Okay, do you have any questions for Kate and Sean? Oh uh, yeah, I, I do have some questions. Well, well, the first one is uh, I've talked to uh, uh, friends and uh, colleagues who work in the United States. 
uh, yes, they are having a very hard time uh, just because short of uh, personal protection equipment. Uh, my first question is, is the, is the N95 really that hard to obtain right now? Or are there any, s are, are there any measures taken to uh, solve this? Uh, secondly, uh, is the situation changed uh, that uh, medical staff are not uh, encouraged or even allowed to wear masks during this epidemic? So yes, masks, whether surgical masks or N95 masks are in very short supply. Uh, back actually in January, I went to three local drug stores and tried to get a surgical mask and, and there were none, they were all sold out. So really for the last two or three months in the US there's been a run on masks, so they're just not available. And um, unfortunately the masks that are in the strategic stockpile are now just being released. So this is about two or three weeks too late and we hear lots of reports, unfortunately, of, of hospitals around the U.S. where administrators are forbidding healthcare workers to wear their masks. And, and it, it's, you know, it, it's hard to know how to manage this situation, um, you know, because uh, health workers, especially physicians, aren't, rec aren't are represented by unions. And so it's hard for them to, to speak with one voice and, and push back against some of these rules, which don't make sense. As far as um, uh, the availability, soon uh, 3M, which is a, a major company that makes masks, it is really ramping up its production in its U.S. facilities. And so hopefully in the next week or two, more will be available. And also, as I mentioned before, local communities are sewing cloth masks up for their healthcare workers. Mm 